Hi everyone, welcome back! In today's video, we are going to design a really functional and beautiful wall. This wall has a bump out section, so I'll turn it into a wardrobe, some shelves, and a study desk. I'll design it step by step. Let's get it started. First, I'll measure the wall. One part is 1600 millimeters and the other part is 1400 millimeters. So we'll work with these dimensions as our base. Let's start with the wardrobe. I'll draw a rectangle 600 by 1000 600 millimeters. Now, using the pushable tool to push it, first push 70 millimeters, then 4 millimeters, then 2850. Another four and finally seventy millimeters. Now I'll start dividing the wardrobe design. From the side I mark three hundred millimeters, then five hundred millimeters and another five hundred. With the line tool, I draw a line here. I copy one of these sections, select this line, and take a copy it by 60 millimeters for another one by four millimeters and one more by two millimeters which makes four in total I select everything and make component and take a copy of it to the other side and because it's a component, any edits I make here will also update there. Now, raise some lines, unnecessary lines. Also here. And take a copy of this in 4 millimeters. Like this, also this. From this side, I mark two hundred millimeters. Then, then go up three hundred millimeters. And with the line tool, first with the line tool, I draw the line. And with the art tools, I draw a curve, a smooth curves in here. And this construction lines really help to keep everything neat and precise. Now by 1001 bit plugin, I'll make or create vertical line or vertical panels. I'll enter the value first 10 millimeters then 20 27 make it zero select front and create and with one click you can see we instantly created vertical panels or super fast from the bottom i mark 
800 millimeters for the position of the wardrobe handles. Draw a rectangle. Draw some arc here. Select and make components. Push it by 60 millimeters. I'll move it into place. Looks really good now. Next, I'll push these sections 60 millimeters. Now I select both parts and move them against the wall. Now let's design the showing area on the other part of the wall. From the side I mark 200 millimeters, then 1000 millimeters or 1 meters. And here I draw a rectangle 500 by 200 millimeters using the move tool and move plus control I copy it at an equal distance make components or now I'll push or pull this First 70 millimeters, then 4, then 2850 millimeters, then another 4 and 70 millimeters. On the front face, I offset 60 millimeters and push it inward. I'll copy this face, make it a component, and push it 20 millimeters. Then I move it inside. From this one, I copy at 450 millimeters, then type X5 to make five copies instantly. See how quickly we build a series of shelves. Now select all parts make a component and create and move it into position then copy it to the other side of the wall mm -hmm. perfect Now, for the steady disk, I'll start with a rectangle, then copy it at 800 millimeters. To make working easier, I'll move it a bit forward. I'll group it, then push it by 200 millimeters. Then another five millimeters and ten millimeters. Now I'll use the divide tool to split this into three equal parts for draws. 
I draw vertical lines here so draws are more visible take a copy of this then take another copy of this For these sections, for the draws panel, I'll use the vertical panel method again, so it's match the wardrobe design. For handles, I draw a simple circle. Make components, push it, and take copy for other parts. Looks much better now. I move, move it. I'll move the disk aside for now. Next, let's add the decorative elements to the wall. For both sides, I mark 100 millimeters. Then draw a rectangle. I copy it upward with the face. From the top, I mark 900 millimeters, then 100, and then another 400 millimeters. Here, I draw a half circle using the arc tool. I'll clean up the extra lines. Then push it 10 millimeters. I'll group it and move it onto the wall. Now let's make vertical panels again with the plugin with the 1001 bit plugin. I'll set the sizes 20, 27, 15. Mm, okay, then change them first 20 millimeters. Or for 20, I change it to 10, then 20 and 27, 0 front and create. Okay. Now I'll move it into place and I clean up extra lines. Then Bring the disk back onto the wall. Now let's add materials to finish everything off. I'm choosing this beautiful green color which gives a sense of calm. I'll use it for all the panels too. Also for these panels.
also for these panels. For the oral dam, I am going with a combination of white and green color. And here is the final result. We have a wardrobe, a steady desk and plenty of shelves for storage and books. It's practical, organized and really beautiful. Our wall design is complete. I really love how the wardrobe, shelves and desk all come together in one clean and functional design. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe for more SketchUp designs ideas. And let me know in the comments what kind of furniture or wall you'd like me to design next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.